I talked in one of my videos about the most reliable cars and in this video I would like to talk to you guys about the most reliable transmissions. First of all, we have the following types of transmissions. Torque converted automatics or standard automatics. CVTs or continuously variable transmissions which are also automatic. Automated manuals which are also automatic and popular nowadays. DCTs are dual clutch transmissions and SMGs are sequential manual gearboxes. And of course we have manual transmissions. Now in terms of reliability, the least reliable, the most aggressive and the fastest transmission is the DCT or the dual clutch transmission. I've seen dozens of DCTs in the Volkswagen group especially with lots of serious problems. Shifting problems, communication errors, flywheel failure and the list goes on. Next we have torque converted automatics which are okay in terms of speed, they make your ride comfy, they're pretty reliable and as a whole they're just fine. Then we have the CVT, it's fast, it's super reliable, in fact I see the most reliable automatic transmission but for me personally it's super annoying. Kick down the acceleration and it will stay at 6000 rpm, so no shifts. That's it. Other than that, it's fast, it's comfortable and reliable. And at number one, the most reliable, cheapest and least complex transmission is the manual transmission. You are in full control, accelerations are fast, you don't have too many fancy sensors like you would normally do in an automatic and all you need to do to maintain it properly is to change the manual transmission fluid and the clutch once in a while. It's not such a big deal if you don't change the fluid in a manual transmission but if you forget to change it in an automatic, for instance in a DCT, say goodbye to it. So when you buy your next car, decide for yourself if a DCT is worth the fun, if you should get an annoying CVT or a manual. Personally, I would probably buy a CVT for day-to-day -day use and a manual for more fun. So let me know in the comment section below if you have anything else to add regarding transmissions and as always thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already for more car videos and i'll talk to you guys in the next one